Okay, so the next thing we need to do here is we need to start moving things around. So, if you notice here, this right here is 4,000 pounds. So that's this guy. We know that, we know that value. Now F1, I don't, I don't know what that value is. F3, I don't know what that is. And force four, this value, I, I have no idea what this is. So here's the goal. We need to take all of our unknowns right here and we need to move them to the other side. <coughs> so how do you do that? Well, that's what I've done here. I've taken this, this force one and I moved it here. And that's what this is. So I just want to show you this real quick. Let's focus on this guy right here. So this is F1 is equal to F1 right here is equal to all this other stuff right here. So when I take this guy and I move him to the other side, I get this, right? So all I've done is I've taken my force and I've moved it to the other side of the equation and that's why that negative is there in case you're wondering about that. Now, I need to take force 3 and I need to move it to the other side. And that's what I did here. And then force 4, move it to the other side. Okay, so that's what I've done here. Now if you notice, I have negative values here. So when we go to type in our calculator, we're going to get negative answers. So we don't want that. So the next thing we do is we need to move this negative 1 here. So I've taken this negative and I've moved it right here. Okay, so whenever you do this, you zero out the rest of this column here. So this guy is associated with this guy. And then you zero out the rest here. This guy is associated with him. And you zero out the rest. This guy is associated with him. And you zero out the rest. And I'll show you why in the end of the video that these negative ones are really here. I'll show you why. And also these zeros. There's a reason they're here. I'll show you why towards the end. Okay, so now we successfully moved all our unknowns to the right hand side here. And all of our all of our unknowns are right here on the right hand side. And all of our unknowns are, are all of our known values are here. Okay, so let's move on. Alright, so the next thing I did is I know this guy, so I went ahead and plugged him in here. Okay. So now that you can now you can see I have all my unknowns on this side and I have all my known values here so what is K1 well K1 is this guy right here K2 is this guy right this 500 pounds per inch and K3 is this guy so I know everything here on the left hand side and like I said these are my unknown values here so I want to work this out real quick so Let's focus on force one right here, which is here. That's this guy. So I'm gonna go here, here. That would give me this. Here, here. That would give me this guy. Okay? Here, here. That would give me this zero here. And of course zero in here will give me a zero here. Okay, so let's move on to the second one here. That represents this guy. So that's here. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to go here, here. That would give me a zero here, okay? Then I would go this guy, this guy, okay? So that would give me this, right? And I would go here, here. That would give me this zero. And then here, here would give me this last zero here. Okay, so that's how you really work that out. Alright, now on force 3, that's represented by this guy, so that's him. So now I would go here, here, that would give me this. Here, here, that would give me this guy. Here, 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 that would give me this guy right here. So you can see how this negative 1 plays into the equation. Now we go here, here, and that would give me this last one here. Okay. And then of course force 4 is represented right here, right? So that's this guy at the bottom. So I would go here, here. Okay, right? That would give me this. Here, here will give me this guy. 
Okay, and here, here, would give me here, this one. And this negative one gives me this force here. So you can see that in this force four equation, here's the force. So that's why these negative ones, right? That's why these negative ones and zeros are here. So it works out with the equation. Okay, so now I am ready for the calculator. I have okay, the last thing we do here is we type this guy into the calculator. And I'll show you how to do that with this video. Now, on this, you type in your regular A matrix, but then at the end, you put in an extra column. So you can see it there, you put in the force column at the end there. Okay, so I have 2,000, 2, and then 1,000, 1,000. So I have 2,000, 2, 1,000, and 1,000 again. And that represents this guy right here, F1, U2, F3 and F4. So we're done.